Hi, this is David, and this is a video demo of the Clock 3 Junior. As you can see, the faceplate is English version 3. And I'll flip it around so you can see the back of the clock. This clock does not have the IKEA frame, but if you did receive one with the frame, everything is identical. You simply drop the frame in, uh, drop the, the clock into the frame. So on the back of the clock, you've got five buttons and a dial. On the left here, you've got a dimmer. This adjusts the brightness on the clock. Enter, increment, decrement, mode, and a reset switch. Um, you can think of increment and decrement as plus minus when you're setting the time. Down on the bottom corner of the clock, you have your USB connector. Again, if you're putting this inside the frame, all you need to do is bend this back through the back plate and it will work seamlessly. Now the clock has a couple different modes, uh, four modes to be specific. Uh, you've got temperature mode, seconds mode, set time mode, and there's a hidden uh, test mode which I'll show you as well. That's quite helpful when you're building the clock. So the first thing I'll show you is seconds mode. If you press increment on the top of the clock, the screen changes to a large matrix display and you can see seconds 30, 31, 32, etc. Any button will take you back to the main time display. Now if you press the decrement button or minus that takes you to temperature mode and here it's showing you the temperature in centigrade 22 degrees C or if you press the increment button it will toggle between centigrade and Fahrenheit, so 71 Fahrenheit, 22 degrees C, etc. Uh, once again, any button will take you back to time mode. Now, I'll quickly walk you through how to set the time. If you press the set mode, uh, sorry, the mode button on the left here, it shows you an S. S stands for set time mode. Now, if you press increment or decrement, it toggles between set mode and normal mode. Normal mode, as you guess, takes you right back to the clock. So for the set mode, we're going to press enter. And we're now in set time mode. So it's alternating between the letter Y and the year. And what we do is we press up or down to adjust the year. So here you can see year 2011, 2012. Now that's correct, so I'll press the mode button. Now it takes me to M, which is month. It shows me month 8 for August, and again you can press plus or minus. Set day, 21st day. H for hour, 17 hours. And M for minute, 12 minutes. Once again, to make any change, press plus or minus. Now when you're done, and you want to synchronize seconds, you simply exit the mode by pressing uh, enter and that will reset the clock to the current time. Now the last thing I want to show you is if you hold down the reset button and excuse me, hold down the mode button while pressing reset, the clock will enter a self-test mode. So I'm going to simulate that. I'm just put the camera down. There we go. I'm going to hold down the mode button, unplug the clock, and plug it back in and I can release the button and you can see the clock is now in self-test mode and it's quite useful for um, testing each LED. Now to exit this mode simply unplug the clock, plug it back in again or simply press the reset switch. There you go. Thanks for watching.